Hey, what's up you guys? Guinea Piggies Designs here. But really quick, for those of you who are new, my name is Brittany. I basically just sew things for your small animals and I do other random things. But in today's video, I am bringing you episode 10. And basically what I'm doing is I'm sewing items for my own cage. But in this video, I am going to be doing the first part of sewing. If you guys want to see how I set any of this up for sewing, go ahead and check out my last video which was episode 9 but in this video I'm just going to be doing the first round of sewing and then in my next video I'm going to be prepping the rest of the items for sewing I just couldn't in my last video because I ran out of clips but I got more clips back since I sewed the items I did today so let me show you guys all right so here's all the items I pre-sewed today so I sewed around the cage liners the fleece forests uh, some of the foam tunnels some and some of the cubes and then over here yeah, those, that's the stuff I still need to like set up for sewing but that's what I did today I sewed this big pile so this video is going to be very long and also you guys everything that I used in this video is going to be linked down below in the description except for my sewing machine because I don't think it's on Amazon yet but if it is I will try to link that down below too but anyways if you guys do want to see how I started off sewing the items that I set up in my last video go ahead and uh, keep on watching all right so for the first part of this video i am going to be working on the foam tunnels so here i'm working on the bottom piece where i am just sewing a straight line following the line that i traced out in my last video and i am leaving about a four inch hole and then i will be moving on to my top piece which again i'm just doing the same process where i'm sewing a straight line around the line that i traced out in my last video and again i'm going to leave about a five to six inch hole for this piece because it is bigger and then I am going to be working on the pads so for the pads I'm just sewing a straight line all the way around and I'm going to be leaving around a four to five inch hole hole and for the inseams I sew around like an inch in and I do the same thing on both paths all right and then for the next part I am working on the second foam tunnel so all I'm doing after I finish these pads is I'm going to be repeating the same process I just did <laughs> So now I am working on the cubes. So for this part, I am just sewing a straight line all the way around the outside pieces, trying to get as close as I can to the foam. And then once I get to the openings, I am going to sew a straight line around the circle. And then I am going to cut a piece in the middle so I can get my scissors through and then I'm going to try to cut out the circle trying to get as close to the seam as I can but without cutting the seam and then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to stick the topmost layer into the hole now I'm not sticking both layers in I'm just sticking the top layer into the hole and then I'm pulling that right side out and then I'm going to stretch it out to get the fabric somewhat flat and then I'm going to sew a straight line all the way around the sides of it trying to get as close 
to the edge of the foam as I can. And as I'm doing this, I am pulling the fleece away from the circle to kind of stretch it out to get rid of the bumps. And then I'm going to be doing this process again with the second opening. So I'm just going to repeat the same process. And then I am going to be working on the pads. So for the pads, I'm just going to sew a straight line all the way around, leaving a one inch inseam. And then I'm going to leave a four, a three to four inch hole. And then I'm going to be working on another cube. So I am just going to repeat the same process over again. <laughs>
moving on to the 2x4 cage liners. I am making four of these. So for the first part, I do like to start off in the lower middle and also a straight line all the way around, leaving a one inch inseam. And I do leave about a six to seven inch hole. And then after that, I'm going to be moving on to the other three two by four cage liners. So I'm just going to be repeating that same process. on the two by one cage liners. So I am also making four of these and I'm basically going to repeat the same process as I did with the two by four cage liners where I sew a straight line all the way around. I do start out off in the lower middle end and then I sew all the way around and then I'll stop and I'll make sure that I leave a four to five inch hole and I'm gonna be repeating this four times.
working on the one by one cage liners. So for these, I am making eight of them. So basically, I'm just repeating the same process that I've been doing where I'll start off at the lower middle end of one of the sides and then I'll sew a straight line all the way around. And for these, I like to leave a three to four inch hole. And then I'm gonna re be repeating the same process eight times. on the two by one fleece for us. So what I'm doing here is I do like to leave a hole in the corner. So I like to start below one of the corners and then I sew a straight line all the way around and then I stop before I close up that last corner. I leave probably about a four to five inch hole. And with this part, you do wanna make sure that you're going through the U-Haul, the two layers of fringes and then the top piece. You do not want to sew through any more than that. And then I am going to be making another two by one fleece for us. So when I'm done with this one, I'm just going to repeat the same process over again. to the one by one fleece for us. So for this, I am repeating the same process I did last time. It's just gonna be a smaller piece. So basically I'm starting below one of the corners. I'm sewing all the way around it. And then I'm stopping before I close that last corner and I'm leaving about a four to five inch hole for this. And again, all you wanna sew through is the U-Haul, the two layers of your fringe pieces and the top layer. And after I'm done with this one, I'm going to be be repeating the same process with the second one. All right, now I am working on the corner for us. So I am making two of these. So basically what I like to do is I like to sew the fringes to the corner forest first. That way those are secure. And then I sew a straight line all the way around. And as I'm sewing, I'm tucking the fringes inside because you do not want to sew through the fringes. Only on the first part, on the longest line is, what, is where you want to sew through the fringes. And then once I get to the last edge, I do leave a gap to leave a hole. So basically I leave around a three to four inch hole. And then here, as you can see, I kind of missed some parts. So I'm going back in, making sure on that edge that I sewed through the two layers of fringes, the U-Haul and the two uh, 
and the two, the top piece and the bottom piece, if that makes sense. And then after I'm done with this one, I'm going to repeat the same process to the second one. couch pieces so for this I'm starting out with the pillows where I start at the longer edge and I sew all the way around and here I'm probably going to leave about a one to two inch hole and then I'm going to be repeating the same process with the second pillow and then after this I will be working on the arms where I fold them in half long ways and I sew a straight line down that edge I do that with both of the arms and then I'm going to move on to the removable potty pads. So for that, I start off in the lower corner. I sew a straight line all the way around, leaving about a three to four inch hole. And then for the rest of the couch pieces, I'm going to work on later. So I went ahead and finished sewing the first set that I did in my last video. So here it is. And then in my next video, I'm going to be prepping all the stuff here for sewing. So like the hay bag, the hooded houses, the cuddle cups, and the woodland print stuff that I cut out. So that's going to be in my next video. And also you guys, everything I used in this video is going to be linked down below in the description. The only thing I will not have linked is my sewing machine because I don't think it's on Amazon yet but if I do find it somewhere I will link it um, check out my unboxing of my sewing machine if you guys want to know where I got it but I will have the affordable option linked down below which is the singer heavy-duty and I'll have my old sewing machine linked down below which is also a awesome machine but anyways if you guys still like in this series make sure you give this video a like and if you guys do want to see more videos from me go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I want to thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video all right bye